Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just on the fan TV, man. Back at another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all the videos. Let's get into today's topic, man. So, Ravens training camp day 19. I believe day 19 is the last day that's going to be open to the public. After that, you know, Ravens are going to get be getting prepared for the season. They got one week of preseason, then they're into regular season preparation right after that. So, uh, let's talk about what happened today. Uh, we're not going to do offense, defense, more just kind of like a highlight, whatever that happened today. And, uh, you know, we're going to get the injuries as well. So, Let's talk about the injuries. Uh, veteran Day, uh, Odell Beckham. You know, Odell, they, they've been ramping it up with him, taking him, taking him up, taking him down. Uh, not really going, having to go full speed multiple days in a row. It seems like after the um, the commander's joint practice, they're taking it easy with Odell right now. Obviously, he won't play in the preseason game, so uh, he's chilling. You know, Harbaugh said there's nothing wrong with him, so I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I think it's smart the way that they're handling Odell. They're handling him like a guy, like they know that they're going to need down the line. And that also that play is safe. So, all right. Now, Morgan Moses is on this list is injured. Oh, well, or the players who did not practice today. I don't know of an injury to Morgan Moses, so this could be this could be a veteran day as well. I'm just not 100 percent sure about that. But Morgan Moses was, wasn't out there. Tyler Huntley, Laquan Treadwell, Brent Urban, Jaquan Amos, Pepe Williams, Rocky Seam, Marlon Humphrey. Um, Treadwell and Brent Urban are two guys that I don't recall hearing the injuries for. For those, those, those two guys are new on the list. But everybody else is pretty much guys you already know that haven't been out there for, for quite a while at this point. Uh, Amos, Pepe, Rocky Scene, and then obviously Marlon Humphrey. So, for Marlon Humphrey, Harbaugh commented on his surgery, said, said his uh, Marlon Humphrey surgery was successful, it went well. And I guess that he's on track, on target to return at the date that, um, you know, is uh, only a couple games into the season. Whatever that date may be, he's on track for that at, at this moment. So whether that's game three or game four, Marlon Humphrey is on track right now. So we'll see if it stays that way, if any complications pop up, we don't know. But as of right now, surgery was successful. All right. Uh, new sign, Jadavion Clowney. Obviously, he didn't practice. He just got here. But he what he did watch the last 45 minutes of Ravens practice and uh, hanging out with a couple of the players. Uh, he knows a couple of players from the past. I think Cameron O'Dell might have been on the Browns at the same time. Uh, I think Anthony Brown, not Anthony Brown, I'm sorry. Uh, somebody, they said somebody else too that he was teammates with in the past. Uh, so he has a couple of guys that he already knows on the team. So that's that's cool there, right? Uh, so now listen, I said we're going to talk about some little bit of highlights of what happened at practice. All right, first one I'm going to talk about is Sean Ryan. Sean Ryan had an acrobatic catch over Tay Hayes. He came down hard. Uh, he left the field, but hopefully it's just more like a win knocked out him type of thing. And hopefully he's not injured. But he had an acrobatic catch over Tay Hayes. And Sean Ryan's been a guy that had a really good uh, training camp so far. Had a really good first preseason game. I think he led the team in targets and catches. And now he's continuing on with that in training camp in these practices. So I'm interested to see what Sean Ryan does game two. Uh, because, listen, man, uh, last year we had Gallic like Shamar Bridges. We had Makai Polk. Uh, when you guys, when you have these people who do well in preseason, not preseason, I'm sorry, in training camp and the practices, you guys see what they can do in the game as well. So I want to see Sean Ryan continue to build on these good practices and bring them into the game. So that's somebody I'll be watching out for. Okay. Now, uh, I want to talk about two guys who are back, who've been back for about, you know, a week or so now, and that's J.K. Dobbins, that's Rashad Bateman. They both completed a first for them today. J.K. Dobbins completed, uh, competed in 11 on 11 action. That's the first time he's done that since, since coming back. And Rashad Bateman competed in 7-on-7 seven seven action. That's the first time he's done that since he's come back. So that means both of these guys are coming at are coming up to a very important checkpoint, right? Where can everybody handle the physicality that was going on in football, right? So I'm excited that they're now crossing that bridge, and hopefully these guys can stay healthy, right? Now, J.K. Dobbs was more of a different situation. Um, I believe that he's completely fine. He was just waiting to come back until he was ready. He's ready to play now. While Bateman, obviously, is the one that's coming back from injury, right? Which is probably why Dobbins hopped in straight into 11 on 11, and they're still putting Bateman in the 7 on 7s. So we'll see what Rashad Bateman can do, right? But the good news is Rashad Bateman's hands still still work very well, right? So he apparently he had a one-hand touchdown catch uh, today in practice. They didn't say who it was on, who threw the pass. I'm assuming it's Lamar Jackson that threw it if Bateman's catching the ball. So um, that's good to hear. Uh, I think he is still one of, I mean, Say Flowers is extremely talented, but I think Rashad Bateman is up there as far as talent. I know we haven't um, seen it fully healthy and things like that, but when Rashad Bateman has played, I've been extremely impressed with the kind of receiver that he is. Now it's just about can he stay healthy and stay on the field. So um, that's kind of the Ravens highlights for today. Not too much going on. 
they're getting ready to play the Commanders on Monday, so I can imagine that the practices aren't going to be too heavy uh, going into that. So, uh, you know, you kind of get what you get. But like, like I said, uh, this is the last, uh, I believe it's the last public practice um, for the Ravens. So I just want to say that everybody that's been watching these videos, man, you know, since I started the training camp process, whatever, uh, say thank you. Appreciate it. Gain like over like 100 subscribers in these last couple of weeks. So I definitely appreciate it. Love making these videos. So thank you guys for liking the video, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate you guys for doing that, man. So uh, this Ravens report is going to be a little bit shorter just because not much happened today. All right. Uh, but I am happy that uh, Jadavion Clowney is signed. He got to watch the team practice. That's cool. Oh, I did. Let me mention this. Ronald Darby, new signing. He did practice today. He's wearing number 33 on defense. So he's out there. So both of the Ravens signers were on the field in some capacity, one watching, one practicing. So um, the Ravens are rounding into good shape. Uh, I like where the defense is at because that's, that's what we're talking about right now, the defense, right? The offense is kind of settled my concerns a little bit after having uh you know a slow start which was expected the offense has picked up and honestly been pretty good throughout training camp right uh, with a little bit of hits and misses here and there so the defense if they can get settled in get these new players acclimated they can survive the first three weeks without marlon humphrey the Ravens are rounded in a good form rounded in a good shape honestly so uh that's my opinion on it that's what happened today at uh, ravens training camp so Rashad Bateman's back, uh, playing seven on seven, making a one hand catch. That's great news. J.K. Dobbins participating in participating on uh, eleven on eleven. That's great news. And uh, Sean Ryan making an acrobatic catch. So that's kind of your highlights for today, man. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna end the video right here. Uh, tomorrow we will talk about what we have learned so far in the training camp process. So that's the video that'll come out tomorrow. But I'm gonna get out of here, man. Gabriel, just on the fan TV. I'm out.